Hey guys, this is Dylan again with Jowers Technology Solutions. Uh, it's been a few weeks since I've done a video, but I wanted to throw one up here real quick. Uh, so, as we all know, I'm an open source guy, um, and so I'm going to point in the direction of uh, backups tonight. So, we all know why we need a backup, right? If a system crashes, if you have a, a ransomware attack or a similar malware uh, infestation, then, you know, backups are always good. Uh, so, tonight I'm going to show you a simple backup solution. Um, you can put the server on Linux or Windows, same thing, you can put the client on Windows or Linux. Uh, it does full backups or incremental backups. It's got, um, I'd say, a fair amount of features that you can, you know, tweak around. So we're going to hop straight into it. So right here I'm on a Windows Server 2012, and I'm going to go ahead and navigate over to the website. Alright, so the first thing you're going to do is download your backup server and save the file. and then run the file and it's super simple to set up you just click next a couple times and then uh, in a moment we'll navigate to the uh, home page on the on the web browser alright bam too easy alright so open up a new tab and do local and it's got a cache in here because I've already installed here before, but I'm I'm walking through this for the video, so it's a uh, localhost five five four one four and hit enter. It's gonna bring you straight into here. All right, and so like I said, I've already set this up previously, but I'm gonna I'm gonna go ahead and push through anyway. Uh, hit I'm gonna hit remove on those two. So right here it says the directory where your backup will save backups is inaccessible. So what I'm gonna do here is open up my uh, Windows Explorer or File Explorer. So I have a virtual disk right here that says storage E. So I'm going to go ahead and create a new folder in there called backups. Alright, I'm going to go ahead and double tap in there and then copy this URL. And then what I'm going to do is go over to settings and then, well, <laughs> it's already pasted there. I think it was because I didn't have the uh, folder created yet. So I'm going to go ahead and just hit save again. Alright, then go back to status and then that should be cleared up. Yeah, perfect. All right, so what we're going to do now, so at this point, the server itself is relatively basically set up. So what I'm going to do next is go to my Windows machine right here. And then I've already, I think I've already downloaded the file. So I'm just going to open up this and go to Downloads. Yep, it's already there. So normally you would just go to the website and download the client. So let's go ahead and install that guy. Hit Yes. OK. And then same thing. So after this gets done installing, it's going to pop up a couple options. You can just hit, you know, hit next and that way it backs up everything by default. If you want to get more granular, you can say, "Hey, just back up my documents folder or just back up my desktop folder." All right, so right here, yeah. So I'm just going to go ahead and click uh finish. So it's going to do everything by default. I'm exit back out of that. So the way your backup works is it broadcasts out network traffic, uh, and so uh, what it's going to do is broadcast out, and then once it sees the client, the client's going to be recognized, and so it's going to start um, communicating with it, and it's going to start saying, hey, I need you to pull these files. So right here we see that it saw it, perfect. And so this is going to start indexing it. And then you go back, if you go back over here and you click on activities, you'll see this indexing. And then if you want to, you can hit show log, and then this will be here. So in just a few moments, it'll start going down the list and saying, "Hey, this is what I don't have. This is what I do have." So copy, copy what has not already been copied, or backup in this case. All right, and I'm gonna go ahead and jump over to CentOS as well. So I'm gonna have to change this really quick and make it Lab One. Alright, so really quick, we went over the server, how to install it, super simple. And when we uh, went ahead and installed it on the Windows client, again, super simple. So with the uh, Linux box, we're going to navigate to that web page again. I'm going to blow this up. I'm just going to go straight to that web page. Uh -oh. 
Might have to reset my network connection. Yep, I do. If I could spell correctly, it'd be nice. Let's see here. Let's try that again. You're back up. Dot org. All right, there we go. All right, so for Linux, you're going to go to the under download options. And then again, it's right here. This is all your clients you, that you can do. And then here's all the servers that you can do. Um, if you don't have a Windows Server 2012 box or you or you don't have, you know, the ability to get a license for a new one or whatever, or 2016 or 2019 for that matter, you can always just download right here, Red Hat, CentOS, um, this line right here. Basically, all you do is download CentOS and then, you know, set up as a file server or a server of whatever kind you want. And then you can just come in here and what well, I think it's uh I think it's right here. Okay, yeah, so you just hit on the CentOS button and then you can do the add repository uh I, excuse me, add repository and install manually. And then this is so I have CentOS seven, so I would just copy these three lines one by one and then it'll install the server for you. But anyway, so um Back, back on topic. So I'm just going to go to the client and grab the Linux binary and all you have to do is copy this line right here or these two lines. So copy and then open up a terminal window and then I'm going to go ahead and sudo su. That way we won't have any issues with the root. So you right click paste. I know I'm going a little fast but bear with me. Alright, so right here it says uh, installation of your backup client, and then go ahead and hit capital Y, and it's going to give you options on how you want to do the uh, backups. I just do number two for LVM. And then bam, that's it. So here in a moment, um, I'm going to get this IP address just in case. So this is 10.1.1.19. Alright, as you can see, it's uh, backing up. So this is what we want it to do. I'm going to go ahead and add in the other one as well. Alright, so we got an error. It's probably because this is our, this was in the middle of a backup whenever I uninstalled it to redo this. And so uh, that that's why the error is there. But anyway, it'll finish up here in a minute. I'm waiting for my Linux box to pop up. Oh, you know what? I know exactly why it's not popping up. Alright, so what you have to do is um, you have to go and put in firewall rules for CentOS. And I'm trying to remember the exact rules there were. But let's see. Let's, let's go in there and check it out. So let's do uh, your backup network ports. Actually, let's go ahead and do a ports. All right, here we go. You use network ports. So right here it says for the clients it uses uh, three five sixty one two two and two three, and then here's the protocol it uses. So let's go ahead and add those in there really quick. And here's how to do that. Let me scoot this over a little bit more so I can see it. There we go. It's hard to keep all these numbers in your head sometimes. So let's go ahead and do a Firewall, tag CMD, tag tag add, tag port, and then you're going to do equals, and you're going to do uh, 35621, and then do a slash, and then in this case we're going to do TCP, and then add a tag tag permanent in there, so that way whenever the system reboots or if you reload the firewall, that rule stays in there. Alright, uh oh. It did not like one of my commands. Oh, I miss mail permanent. There we go, success. All right, so that's one TCP port. Since I already have TCP in there, I'm just gonna go ahead and change this to a three and add that port. And then lastly, but not least, I'm gonna go ahead and add that two in there. 
Alright, and then do a firewall, tech CMD, tech tech reload, and then that's going to add that in there. So now, here in a few moments, we should see that pop up. And see, uh, the Windows machine is already almost basically backed up. It's doing some finishing touches in the background. I need to knock that off and look at this. Okay, so that other web page was just not refreshed. Alright, so here we go. It says OK. So this means that the Windows box is fully backed up at this point. And so uh, a few things to know is that it does a full backup every 30 days. You can change the settings, but it does a full backup every 30 days and does an incremental backup every 12 hours. And you can come in here and you can change that if you want to. So there's um, usually, let's see here, under client settings. So since there's only one client on here right now, that's why it's only got this one showing up. When you have multiple clients, you can actually switch between them. But anyway, so you can do you can click on separate settings for this client, and that way you can customize this. Uh, I'm just gonna leave it this way for now. Matter of fact, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, do separate separate settings, and then I'm gonna uncheck on the images. Let's see here. Okay, that'll work. All right, and then we're going to go back here. Okay, so now it's saw the CentOS box as well. So let's go ahead and do a full backup on that guy. So it's going to key the backup. And then right here. Okay, so what happened here is it just uh, saw that I wanted to do an image backup. So now it's doing an entire image backup of the uh, Windows machine. So that's good too, if you want to do that. So right now I'm waiting on this other other thing okay so I see what it's saying so for for Linux you have to kind of tweak it a little bit I'm gonna go under the CentOS box because obviously Linux doesn't have a C drive so I'm gonna tell, tell it to do separate settings for that and then I'm just gonna tell it let's for example let's say uh, back up the Etsy folder and that's all I'm gonna tell it and then it'll, it'll go through and do an actual file backup I generally don't do an image backup for Linux. Um, you can if you want to. I just don't. So I come over here and click disable and hit save. And then you can go through the other settings as well. You can make it where um, the client doesn't have any permissions at all. You do everything from the server. That's why I generally do it because I don't want anybody messing with the backup settings. And you can configure alerts as well. Um, if you don't, if you're not on the same network or the same LAN, then you can set up the internet connectivity mode where it will actually back it up over the internet encrypted. So there's that option as well. And then here's a bunch of other settings. I won't go into this right now, um, but here's a bunch of other settings that you can take a look at. All right, so I'm gonna hop back over to status. And okay, so I was doing image backup and then activities. Okay, so I'm going to hit the uh, do a full backup on this guy again. And this way it should start backing it up. All right, so let that do its thing and let it ride. So this is going to index for a minute and then it's going to back up all the files. But again, like I was saying before, um, once you hit that file backup status is OK, then you're in good shape. Um, so yeah, th th this is basically the backup solution that I, that I use uh, every now and then, depending on if a customer has a paid solution or if they need a, a open source solution um, but yeah it, it works well I enjoy it um, if y'all have any questions please let me know I know this was a long video and it's actually seven o'clock right now so I'm getting tired um, but this is something that is very usable it, it works and uh, I have no complaints about it so guys if y'all have any questions please uh, give a shout out in the comments please subscribe to my channel I appreciate every bit of support I get I know that everybody loves the firewall videos, so I'll be I'll be making more of those as time goes on. Uh, this is just one of those old side videos I wanted to do just to let you know there is a solution out there for backups. Um, but yeah, thanks guys. Y'all have a good night and thank you.